The strategic landscape of the Indo-Pacific in 2026 is increasingly defined by a silent but high-stakes technological arms race centered on the ability to strike from distance and the capability to detect such threats before they reach their targets. At the heart of this confrontation is the emergence of the GNH-20, China's first true strategic stealth bomber, and Australia's primary defense against such a low observable threat, the Jindali Operational Radar Network, commonly known as JORN. For the Australian public and defense establishment, the H-20 represents a fundamental shift in regional risk as it possesses the theoretical range to strike deep into the Australian continent from mainland China. However, the unique physics of Australia's sovereign radar network offers a counter-stealth capability that fundamentally challenges the H-20's primary advantage of invisibility. The CNH-20 is often described by military analysts as China's answer to the American B-21 Raider. Designed as a flying wing to minimize its radar cross-section, the H-20 is intended to penetrate sophisticated air defense networks and deliver a massive payload of conventional or nuclear precision guided munitions. With an estimated combat radius exceeding 8,500 kilometers, the H-20 effectively brings the entire Australian coastline within reach of Chinese strategic air power for the first time in history. For an island nation that has traditionally relied on its geographic isolation as a natural defense, the deployment of such a platform creates a significant strategic dilemma. The ability of the H-20 to operate undetected by conventional microwave radars makes it a first strike weapon that could theoretically disable key Australian infrastructure or military bases before a formal declaration of hostilities. Against this looming shadow, the Australian Defence Force relies on a system that operates on principles entirely different from the tactical radars found on ships or aircraft. JORN is an over-the-horizon radar network that utilizes the ionosphere, an electrically charged layer of the upper atmosphere, to bounce high-frequency radio waves back down toward the Earth's surface. By operating in the high-frequency band between 5 and 30 megahertz, JORN can detect objects thousands of kilometers away, far beyond the curvature of the Earth that limits traditional line-of-sight radars. While conventional stealth technology is meticulously engineered to deflect high-frequency microwave pulses used by fire control radars, it is significantly less effective against the long wavelengths employed by JORN. The physics of this encounter is where the stealth of the H-20 meets its most significant challenge. Tactical stealth relies on the precise shaping of the aircraft's skin to scatter radar waves away from the receiver. However, when the wavelength of the incoming radar signal is comparable to the physical dimensions of the aircraft's structure, such as its wingspan or fuselage length, a phenomenon known as Rayleigh scattering or resonance occurs. In this state, the entire airframe of the H-20 begins to resonate like a tuning fork, reflecting the long wavelength signals of JORN, regardless of the aircraft's stealth coatings or angular geometry. From the perspective of the JORN operators at Royal Australian Air Force Base Edinburgh, a stealth bomber like the H-20 does not appear as a faint, disappearing blip, but rather as a detectable signature that stands out against the background environment of the open ocean. As of early 2026, the effectiveness of this detection has been significantly enhanced through the completion of the AIR 2025 Phase 6 upgrade. 
This project, which involved an investment exceeding 1 billion, 200 million Australian dollars, integrated advanced digital signal processing and high performance computing into the network. These upgrades allow the system to differentiate between the H20 signature and the clutter of the ocean surface with a level of precision that was previously unattainable. The ability to track a low observable target in real time at distances of up to 3,000 kilometers provides the Australian Defence Force with a critical warning window. In a scenario where an H-20 is detected crossing the second island chain toward the Australian mainland, the network would provide more than 60 minutes of early warning. This duration is sufficient to scramble F-35A Lightning II interceptors, activate ground-based air defenses, and relocate high-value assets. The strategic value of Jorn was further validated by the international defense community in mid-2025, when the Canadian government committed to a deal valued at approximately 4 billion Canadian dollars to acquire Australian OTHR technology. This export success underscores a growing global recognition that traditional stealth is becoming increasingly vulnerable to specialized long-range sensors. For Australia, this deal is not merely a commercial victory, but a confirmation that the nation possesses a sovereign edge in counter-stealth technology. It demonstrates that the massive geographical challenges of the Australian continent have forced the development of innovative solutions that are now in high demand by allies facing similar vast area surveillance requirements. However, the confrontation between Jorn and the H-20 is not a static one. Regional adversaries are well aware of Jorn's capabilities and are likely developing electronic warfare tactics to jam or spoof the network's signals. The ionosphere itself is a dynamic medium influenced by solar activity and atmospheric conditions, which can lead to blind spots during periods of intense solar flares. To mitigate these risks, the Australian Defence Force has adopted a layered approach to air defense. Jorn serves as the long-range tripwire, while other assets like the E-7A Wedgetail, airborne early warning aircraft, and the upcoming MQ-28 Ghost Bat, loyal wingman drones provide the tactical precision needed to intercept a target once it has been detected. This integrated system of systems ensures that the early warning provided by Jorn is translated into a kinetic response capability. The economic and industrial implications of maintaining this technological lead are substantial. The ongoing evolution of the radar sites at Longreach, Alice Springs and Laverton supports a highly specialized workforce of engineers and data scientists. The maintenance of these facilities ensures that Australia retains the intellectual property and industrial capacity to evolve the system as stealth technology continues to advance. In the 2026 defence budget, the Australian government emphasised that sovereign capability is the cornerstone of national resilience. Jorn is the physical embodiment of this policy providing a defense shield that cannot be turned off by a foreign supplier or rendered obsolete by a single technological breakthrough in stealth materials. In conclusion, the Xi'an H-20 represents a formidable evolution in regional strike capabilities designed to project power and intimidate through the promise of invisibility. Yet in the vast northern approaches of the Australian continent, this invisibility is countered by the invisible waves of the Jindali operational radar network. The interaction between these two systems, the hunter in the sky and the watcher in the desert, defines the modern era of Pacific warfare. 
While the H-20 may be invisible to the eyes of traditional radar, it remains exposed to the physics-based detection of Australia's sovereign sensors. As long as Jorn remains operational and continuously upgraded, the tyranny of distance remains Australia's greatest ally, and the threat of a surprise stealth incursion remains a manageable risk rather than an existential certainty. The continued investment in this eye of the outback reinforces a clear message. In the defense of the Australian continent, there is truly nowhere to hide.